Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Yesterday, April Kirkwood, 66, of The Golden Bachelor, consult Theresa on Instagram. On Friday, April 12, Theresa and Jerry had both announced their divorce on social media. Theresa thanked her Instagram followers for their support throughout her public divorce on Monday, April 15. I sincerely appreciate all of the love, support, and kindness that you have shown me. You are all such amazing people, Theresa said as the caption for her Monday photo. The fact that you reached out to me, whether in person, over the phone, by text, or via direct message, means the world to me. It is quite kind of you all to do so. On Monday, April said that she was supporting Theresa through this difficult moment in the comments area of her Instagram post. Under Theresa's post, April wrote, I wish you the very best. I really tried to explain, but you had to learn this lesson for yourself. Many thanks. A few fans responded to April's comment, including comedian Dave Neal. Eventually, in response to a curious commenter, she reiterated what she had said in Theresa's comment area. I have compassion for all women worldwide. April wrote, I want us all to be smart and powerful and to learn from one another. Lessons provide us with a chance. Everybody has experienced heartbreak. What we choose to do with that is totally up to us. Ladies, let's shake this globe. You may take the lead, Therese Sick. Tuesday was a shift in April's song. The TV celebrity apologized to the public and withdrew her remarks from Monday. I want to sincerely apologize to everyone for my poor decision. I really didn't mean any harm, April wrote. All women should have the ability to be their best selves and live in peace. I wasn't meant for this. Much love and appreciation for your comprehension. Even though some fans weren't receptive to April's apologies, she did receive some supportive remarks from others. Winner up on Golden Bachelor, among those who lavished her with love was 65-year-old Leslie Fima. My friend, you are loved. Leslie said, I'm so happy to call you that. You are stunning on the of 2023. Following his decision to give Theresa his last rose, they became engaged on The Golden Bachelor. On Friday morning, the couple announced their separation on Good Morning America. But they talked about their relationship on the Dear Shandy podcast three weeks prior to this disclosure. The podcast hosts, Charlene and Andy, questioned the ex-couple about their arguments at one point. She remarked, we yell and scream and say sorry, and we're better for it. Their discussions, according to Jerry, were intellectual jousting to start with. Point, counterpoint, and then it will pick up speed a little bit, and we'll start exchanging glances like, really, he stated, I'm entirely correct. When the host questioned who had apologized first, Jerry responded that Theresa had done a better job of it than he had. She's pretty good at knowing when this isn't important, he stated. Following a period of introspection, Jerry declared that he and Theresa should put aside their differences and concentrate on finding the compromise area. Theresa shook her head up and down as he explained that his second occupation was as a courtroom and divorce mediator, but that sometimes that training is counterproductive with a spouse. He tried not to show emotion during the arguments, but he was unable to control his emotions. He wouldn't, however, acknowledge that he feels more than Theresa does. Someone commented, anyone else here on the day, they announced their golden divorce. On the podcast's YouTube video, one individual commented in the responses, saying, this interview gave me a clue it was coming. Their separation was illuminating. I thought this interview was rather strange. Another person said, it didn't feel like newlyweds having a love fest. Another wrote, I actually didn't leave a comment the day this video was posted, 
because I had a sick to my stomach feeling after watching it that they were headed for a breakup. I agree that this interview felt really uncomfortable, another person commented. It may seem insignificant, but I was worried about the difference in the dishes they would select for their final dinner. Family members close to Jerry and Theresa were taken aback by the golden divorce, despite the fact that people on the internet weren't shocked by it. It was exclusively disclosed by the U.S. Sun that Jerry's father, Everett, 92, was surprised by the divorce. Peggy, Jerry's stepmother, and Everett were taken by surprise and were unaware of the divorce until they began getting calls Star informing the bachelor. Jerry Turner filed for divorce from Theresa Nist as soon as they announced their separation on Good Morning America. In court on Friday in Indiana, Turner asked to dissolve his three-month marriage to Nist, according to court records that Page Six was able to get. Turner, 72, stated that the pair had parted on Friday and gave the explanation that it was an irretrievable breakdown. He and Nist, 70, appeared together on GMA to announce that they were dissolving their brief union only hours before the retired restaurateur filed. It's probably time for Theresa and I to dissolve our marriage. We've had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation, and so forth, he said to the audience. Turner answered yes when journalist Juju Chang questioned if that amounted to a divorce. After watching her and Turner during the first season of The Golden Bachelor last year, Nist continued, saying that they have received so much love and support from so many people. We can't even begin to count the number of people who have told us that it has given them such hope. We don't want anything to alter for anyone, she clarified. Due to their differing schedules and how dedicated they are to their different families, the former ABC stars finally made the decision to dissolve their marriage. While Turner lived in Indiana close to his two daughters and his grandchildren, Nis lived in New Jersey near her children we examined properties in South Carolina, contemplated properties in New Jersey, and we simply examined residence after residence. But we were never able to reach a decision, Nis stated. We look at these situations, and I think we just feel like it's best for each of us to be happy to. Live apart, Turner continued. Despite their decision to part ways, Turner and Nist acknowledged that they still love one another. In November of last year, the financial services professional received a 3.15 carat sparkler with a princess cut center stone from the first ever Golden Bachelor. In January, Turner and Nist exchanged foes on a live television special. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.